ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel today i'm gonna introduce the script the python script that i have been using to pull the malware samples from the malware repository if you are a malware researcher or a cyber security researcher this script might be helpful to you so let me introduce my script before that i'll introduce a platform called malware bazaar if you unaware of this uh, platform then you must visit to this site actually this is a repository of malwares live malwares that we are witnessing in our in our lives and another excellent stuff about this malware bazaar is this particular site is driven by community which means if you have a twitter id you can create an account on malware bazaar and even you can contribute by sharing the malwares that you come across to this platform so you can see the list here uh, it is very simple to browse the malware you need not to log in uh, the platform you can simply uh, put the url and browse and once you get into this page you will be able to witness the list of samples and they also tagged each sample what type of malware it is and what is the name of the malware and also its signature and the file type and all along with that it also shows the hash of the file and you can see the date here uh, just now before few minutes few seconds they uploaded the sample so continuously this site is getting updated with a bunch of malware so every every day they are uploading their malware so it is very useful if you are doing malware analysis you will be able to experiment various malware if you have access to this site but the concept of this video is you can if you have this uh, you know url access if you have internet access you will be able to gather the sample manually but that is not the concept here if you are a security researcher if you are going across any blog uh, for example let's say i'm 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 in this blog uh, the blog explains about the malware squirrel waffle if i scroll down usually uh, beneath the every malware i mean every uh, cyber blog they must have added the iocs indicators of compromise about the specific malware uh, if you see here here i can see uh, the malware hashes they given the malware hashes in this link if i open this link they added the list of hash values uh, if you look at this uh, they added around the hundreds of hashes here uh, if you are searching for malware specific malware sample by using these hashes if you are applying each hash manually then it might be tedious to get the job done uh, in this place only my script comes in and the script uh, i mean the script idea began with this specific tweet uh, the tweet actually uh, came from the security researcher ankit and uh, this, he tweeted on october 3rd 2021 before around 6 months and uh, the malware bazaar came up with their new python library with this library we will be able to perform some python programming and query the malware database so that is what uh, you know this package is all about so what i did is uh, i simply downloaded this malware bazaar repository and also i created my own account in malware bazaar and i got the api key if i go to api uh, and api key i can see in order to submit or upload the malware sample or query the malware sample uh, the api key is needed so what you can do is you can log in and you can go to your account settings and you can pull your api key here the api key is very important to uh, to communicate with this malware bazaar with program so that is the use of api key and i used this actually i got the api key and i used that api key in my python script so i'm going to showcase that python script here in a moment so this is the script uh, only few lines it has but this specific script reduces my work uh, you know in a, in a great manner so let me explain what this script exactly doing uh, actually it's a python script uh, i am actually using the library called bazaar i already uh, in, installed this uh, library with help of the command that is given by anki so you can install it as a library and also you can access this uh, python library the bazaar from the command prompt of linux so the command is bazaar and if i give hyphen help i can see the list of options available here what i can do is from the command line itself i'll be able to uh, query the malware bazaar 
let me uh, very uh, you know in a simple manner let me see first uh, whether the api is configured or not i am simply calling the bazaar and init initialization and pressing enter is again asking to enter some parameters i am giving help here i can see the api key so what i can do is uh, if i get the api key i'll be able to configure my api key with this command bazar init then api key then i'll be uh, able to establish the connectivity to the malware bazar now what i can do is i can simply by using these commands i can query the malware bazar let me do uh, a simple query now bazar and uh, recent question mark if i give bazar recent you can see it queried the malware bazar and it got all the samples that are recently uploaded to malware bazar so this is one of the command line option to interact with malware bazar but in our script we are simply put everything in a file and we are going to execute that file whenever we need it so let me explain this uh, i'm simply calling the bazar library here and this is the line to mention the api key so this is the current api key don't worry i'll be changing this api key once i upload this video and this is the api key uh, i mean this is where you need to mention uh, it is nothing but the bazar function so within the bazar function you need to uh, pass this specific api key and the next line uh, this is very important here i am simply referring one file this file i already created in my system and i already opened this file here so here i put all the hashes that i gathered from various uh, cyber blocks so what i can do is i can simply i'm sorry i'm simply uh, reading the file and r represents read operation and i am reading the file and uh, getting all the input into this object file out and now next thing is i am simply creating a for loop the for loop i am mentioning uh, what i can say i can i'm i'm mentioning a variable file and i am iterating through the file out uh, object and the content of the file out now what i can do is uh, after this inside the for loop i am simply mentioning bazar i am calling the bazar library again dot query hash query hash is the function to query the specific malware sample by using the hash value so i am simply calling this function and within the function as an argument i am passing file dot script if you wish to know what this file dot script contains at this stage what i can do is i'm simply copying this uh, specific script and uh, putting it here i'm saving this now what i'm doing is i'm going to print file dot script i'm saving this i'm pressing control v in sublime text to execute the script if i do this i can see the list of hashes being displayed here these hashes are nothing but the hashes that i already added in the file malwarehashes.txt and now with this i can understand this specific file dot strip is having the list of hashes and i already passed this hashes into the query hash function perfect now everything is put it i mean everything is added into the object response now the next next line is for again i'm creating a nested for loop and response dot values so let's see what this specific response contains i need to print the response here instead of file strip i'm print i'm simply printing the response i'm saving the script control b to execute here you can see actually it brought the information about the specific malware i simply queried with my hash it pulled me all these details i'm simply copying and putting in the i mean putting in the new document so here i can see the list of parameters related to the those malware samples okay now this response is holding all this data okay now what we are doing in this for loop we are simply calling response dot values uh, let me say what is value here if you see this particular data structure it is python dictionary dictionary structure if you want to know how structure will look like let me show dictionary in python 
I'm simply showing the Python dictionary syntax here. So this is how a dictionary look like. An object name is equal to inside the curly braces. Uh, I'm mentioning the key inside double quote and colon and the value inside double quote. And I am separating these dictionary members with comma. So this is how a dictionary will look like. If you go through this specific outcome, you can see it is already formatted in Python dictionary. So to probe the Python dictionary only, I am calling response.values function. And I am again iterating, uh, I mean, I, again, I'm calling a, par, I mean, a variable as value and iterating through this values, response.values. And if the value is equal to OK, let me show what it is. If I see the first line, I can see the value OK here. Query status is the key and the, the value is OK. So I'm simply mentioning like the if the value is OK, I'm defining the condition print response of, I mean, print response data zero of indexing zero index and sha 256 hash so i'm simply trying to read this specific hash and i'm i'm, I'm pr simply printing this sha 256 hash value so let's see here uh, it is finally printing the sha 256 hash so first of all let me uh, i mean let me execute the script i already uh, added the script in a binary path. Let me show that I named the script as malware puller. I already added it in binary path. So by simply calling the script name, I'll be able to execute that. So if I call this malware puller script, here you can see it is displaying all the SHA-256 hashes from malware buzzer. If I see the input document here, I added a bunch of hashes. It probed all these hashes and finally gave four SHA-256 hashes that is available on malware buzzer. So it will be very helpful for me whenever I am trying to pull uh, the malware samples from the malware buzzer by using bunch of hash values. So yeah, this is what uh, the script that I wanted to showcase. I'll be adding the script in GitHub and I'm posting the GitHub link in the video description so that you can refer and you can use it uh, in future. Yeah, this is what I wanted to showcase. I'll catch you next time with another exciting concept. Until then, uh, I'm signing off. If you like this video, hit the like button, consider subscribing my channel. If you have any opinion, put it in the comment section and you can share this video among your friends. Love you guys. I'll catch you next time.